Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Nonemon7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. And now we're only losing a little bit of money per turn. Uh, 14... Uh, I don't need that. Increases gunnery accuracy with radar, nice. Increases ASW effect of air bases, that's good too. Nice! New fighter! It, they've improved it a little bit. Uh, a little higher toughness, a little higher firepower. That's nice. That's all nice. Yeah, higher range, higher cruise speed, so it's a little... little changed. Alright, our submarines are commissioned. Uh, the Destroyer Inn is now commissioned. Uh, in the meantime, we do need more submarines. So we're gonna build some medium ranges here, and we're gonna build a bunch of them. Able trainable depth charge mortars. Is that something we can uh, rebuild? Uh, no, it's not. New docks complete. Good. Condemn the French just so that we increase their tensions. Look at our monthly balance now. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. How how big is the French budget? Ours is bigger. So yeah, now is... Hmm. I think I want to start on the battle cruisers now. That's what I want to do. I think it's battle cruiser time right now. Because those are going to take longer to complete. And then once we... Because we can get probably one battlecruiser building right now, and then we can get a second building probably in about three months once uh, the two Adrias come online. So that would give us our two battlecruisers. Then, or do we want battlecruisers, or do we want fast battleships? Because I think I will get fast battleships in the same battle, or in the same engagements that I would normally get battlecruisers in. And I think the fast battleship would be a little better protected. No, this this is my current ship. This is Kaiser. Um, on the other hand, I'm not going to actually go with the Nelson route here. I'm going to go with a uh, more conventional style. Like so. Maybe only 28 knots. Do we really want to armor? Yeah, I do. Actually, how is the gun data on this? So we do still have an immunity zone. Nelsons are cheaper, though. Yeah, but this has better arcs of fire. No, I'm... Look, I'm going to be able to afford two either way. This is just a little more expensive. If I go here and change that to an L... Just... It's okay. It's probably about three hundred a month. That's probably actually a few, ch a few thousand and change. Yeah, I probably do want to stick with the Nelson design. Why wasn't the Nelson design used by the U.S. in uh, World War Two then? Although that being said, this doesn't give me the tactical flexibility that other designs do. So I think I'm going to go for that still. All right. So yeah. Secondary wise, still good. Um, I think we are going to get the seaplane hangar on this guy. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more aircraft capacity. And then catapult wise, we're going to have two. Um, an American. I'll do air capacity three, I think. And then. Increase that just a little bit more, and then off of, uh, okay, so I can do forward wing, can I do, like, maybe not L, 
So we could do like a Q catapult there. What did the Iowa sink? I don't know, but uh, Washington sank uh, Kirishima. And I mean, although you can argue that Nelson sunk Bismarck, Bismarck was kind of out of ammo. And, uh, yeah. Bismarck's kind of out of ammo and stuck turning in the circle. She wasn't exactly in good shape at the time. Kirishima, on the other hand, was in perfect condition and then was shot to death by uh, USS Washington. So we could do like a V... Catapult, probably. It's like I want to do... Catapults on the wings. So additional armament-wise, it's H and I for the torpedo tubes. But just... You can do one... can't do L for whatever reason. I don't know why. We could do Q. Kirishima, 30 years old. Bismarck had also taken seven different torpedoes. Yeah, Bismarck was very damaged. We'll put that in the R position, I think. So that will be our catapult right there in the R position. Uh, we will increase the amount of anti-aircraft guns we have to 64 medium AA guns. And... Wait, can I go... That would severely actually reduce that for the dual purpose. So no secondaries. Structure 2, Structure 3, Structure 4, Structure 5, and Structure 6 I want gone. Uh, Funnel-wise, we're going to move them. Two funnels still. Uh, should not have asymmetric funnels on. Another note, the superstructure configuration. That's why I'm fixing it! Um... There we go, it's fixed. No. Well, actually, yeah, these are torpedoes. We have a couple on here. I'm going to decrease the tubes, actually, just to twins. And the reason for that is that having torpedoes on a ship lets you tell the uh, torpedo, or gives you basically a range of torpedoes around the ship. Like to say this. Or it, it'll tell you how far you can fire your torpedoes, which is an extremely helpful thing to know, because then you know how far enemy ships are away, um, if they were to, f or, yeah, if they were to fire their torpedoes and get a pretty good idea of about how far their torpedoes should reach. So then let's do, say we can do something kind of like this. Around here. And I would think that this here would be a bit of a parking space, probably, for the uh, catapult. So I assume that this catapult just kind of rotates out to either side. The other option would be to have a queue, in which case it's laid across here. Um, I know some British ships did that. I think Bismarck also did that, too. So then, structure three. Uh, secondaries just aren't visible. They're, they're present, they're on the ship, just not uh, visible. So then for three, uh, that's kind of the hangar back there. And then we can do something maybe kind of uh, like this, have a bit come off here and uh, back to there. And uh, structure four can be like, say, I don't know, something just on top of here. Then we can do kind of like that. Little bridge sort of, or, yeah, little side bridge thing. And then... Go out to maybe there. Then, yeah, Structure 5 and Structure 6 will probably be both up here. Okay, yeah, Structure 5 we can do, uh... I'm 
probably not going to do a proper conning tower on this ship, um, given how late its design is. So yeah, no battle cruisers. I'm only thinking the uh, fast battleships, because those actually get put with battle cruisers in engagements now. So my thought is, we'll have the fast battleships in engagements we normally have battle cruisers in. At least that's my hope. We could do something like this, and then maybe almost envision that this is kind of like a crane. What we can do is we can do maybe that. Yeah, okay. Squeeze out another knot with max tonnage. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, we can. We can squeeze out another knot. I think 29 is probably good. Um, and then that squeezes out a little bit more anti-aircraft armament, too. So we'll suggest a new name. This will be the... I oh, will have it. Res Decky class. And then structure six, that will be the actual, uh, we can do something like this, maybe. Bam. Uh, and then. Bring it back there. Out oh, maybe a little bit. Go all the way across to about there and bring it back. Uh, and then I can do something like, say, this. Yeah, that'll be our new uh, Resdeki class battleship. I'm going to have to wait a turn to do the program there. So let's wait a turn then. Okay, so that's the new battle cruiser they're building. 12 inch belt, 14 inch turrets, one catapult, two aircraft, one back there. Diving shells. No to all, no to all. Alright, so now design the ship. Uh, open... Open her, then save that. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna cost us a lot, but it'll uh, it'll get done now. So then, hopefully, in a couple of turns, we'll be able to build two of them. Done now is commissioned. Uh, go for the win. Go for the win. I need prestige. Aviatic has developed a new medium bomber, so that's a little faster, a little less range. Oh, that bomb load. That's a good bomb load. Do it. Adria is now commissioned. 20 inch guns of quality zero now researched. No. No. Just. That's overkill. Um. Must be caref coupled with careful diplomacy. That would be good. And then. Great Britain has granted independence to the Falklands Islands. Now they can be invaded by Argentina. 20 inches. Yes. Yes. 20 inch gun. Just just think of how big that gun is. How big that bullet is. For a second. Just launch a DD with a trebuchet. Why don't you? Yep. Alright, so new medium bomber prototype. See, what's the best? Same bomb load on all of them. Um... That one has good speed, good range, less maneuverability, less toughness than the other two, but I think that's the best choice, too. So we did conserve a bit of money here, but that's so we can build two of these things. So right now, I also... Uh, I'm going to wait two more turns. Increases maximum carrier size, a new Italian... New Italian torpedo bombers in service. Uh, we want probably a new float plane scout right now. 
So what that should be is probably speed and uh, bomb load, maybe. No, speed and reliability. So how many more turns? Four. Ah. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna wait another turn, I think. Go one more turn. France is granted independence to Morocco. Uh, yeah, I'll sell, uh, I'll sell that to Italy. I don't want to go to war with them. Near misses from glide bombing have a chance of being converted into torpedo hits. That's pretty nice. No to all, no to all. Tensions aren't really that high. At this point, you could have had a super CV with like 250 complaints. Yeah, but then we have the issue that um, CVs handling that many planes don't handle them particularly efficiently. How many, what is France building? So they still have three CVs, they still have three CVLs. Um, they actually have a higher naval budget than us at this point. Uh, that, the amount of heavy ships they have is very concerning. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is once the two Sankt Paltons uh, finish, is I'm probably going to start work on a another uh, carrier. Just one. Just one more fleet CV. Get up to eight eight fleet CVs. And thankfully Kaiser is getting pretty close to done, so that will give us another battleship. 12 BCs. Yep. Yep, that's kind of terrifying. And we do want... we are going to want more destroyers, and we're going to want more uh, CLs. Now that being said, I might do the one carrier when these guys get closer to done. Um, but... Like I might do the carrier when this one's about four out. Build a new carry, build a new carrier then. But I think the rest of the budget's gonna be spent on refitting these guys into anti-aircraft cruisers and these guys into submarine ships, or anti-submarine warfare ships. Start whipping the scientists. Yeah. Now, fortunately, the French uh, BCs aren't super strong. So they're like 9 14-inch guns, 10.5-inch belt, 11.5-inch belt. I'm not... Like, we can fight them, I think. Maybe not with the current three ships we have. Between uh, Babenberg, uh, Franz Ferdinand, and Carl. But, you know, once we get once we get to our six dreadnoughts, that's going to be a lot better. Especially these uh, Resdek or Resdetskis. I mean, Kaiser's still pretty good, too. But yeah, what we want to do right now is I wanted to take a look at our CLs. So that will be our most... I'll open the design for Achilles here. We have better better quality 6-inch guns. I'm going to drop the number of dual purposes for now. But you know what? We, do, we can't do 5-inch dual purpose yet. Damn you, scientists! Damn you! I want autoloaders, though. I do. Uh, we probably don't need as many torpedoes now. So... Clear the torpedo tube mounts. For the moment. Autoloader, yes. Uh, flight installations, uh... Screw it, give me a Q. Nah. I don't think that's worth it on these. We'll go up to 32 knots. We'll build a 10,000 tonner here. So gun armament wise, can I do triples? I think I can. So now we basically have a Cleveland. Um, although I do want a uh, torpedo armed Cleveland here. I am going to fully admit that. We get like a... Wait, can we get... Only on 3,500 tons or less. Darn it! Can't get center-line torpedo mounts. So we'll do uh, D and E and F and G, probably. 15 autoloaders just for max stacka. It'll be 12. Only 12. But in terms of the number of extra dual-purpose guns, 24, I think. So belt-wise, we'll probably be about 3.5. Uh, 3. Deck, maybe 1... Point five. I want to do flat deck on top belt, probably. I have one. Only a one-inch deck. Kinda. She didn't get used much, though, in engagements, though. Artemisia. 
And then we can do something like that in terms of guns. And we have a little bit of extra room, so let's uh, stick her with some, or put some mines on her too. Uh, insufficient top sides. Because I put mines. Are mines that worth it? Eh, no. They're not worth sacrificing my anti-aircraft complement. I think it's better to have the anti-aircraft guns right now. So then I want to mess with the structure completely. So then structure one. We want to do probably that. You know what? No. No, I think this would be... Uh, I, I could think of it as kind of a flat deck ship, but I might just still do like this. Have it have the elevated uh, forward deck. Um, this will make it look kind of weird around the uh, 24 secondary 4-inch guns we stuck on it. Yeah, the cruiser secondary configurations are ugly. Like, the game's trying to automatically put them everywhere, and it's really struggling. But, I mean, we have 24 of those guns jammed on this thing. So, yeah. 24 of those dual purpose. I might... I could decrease that. I don't think even the Clevelands had that many. Or we just leave it. You know, we're getting 32 knots out of this. Our additional armament's still pretty good. We still have a bit of additional space remaining, which I'm probably going to turn into more rounds per gun. This here will be our ultimate... Maybe our ultimate light cruiser design. We might have a uh, refit version of this. Or not a refit, a uh, ship coming after this with a little bit of changes as well um, making use of the extra tonnage but this is probably what I'm gonna use it yeah auto loaders might as well max the ammo yeah let's go 200 rounds just pour fire into the enemy Uh, so smokestack wise, I'm probably going to move that funnel back. I'm probably going to move that funnel back. I'm going to keep it as a triple funnel, though. I kind of like that look. Structure 3 is that. So we probably want to do, like, maybe that. 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 Something like that. Uh, that looks uh, hideous. Four, five, and six go away. Five go away. Four go away, please. Um, four we can do, like, say, you know, this. Uh, that looks a little less hideous, I would think. Maybe not quite what I was desiring, so then we can do... Maybe this. What am I even trying to build? Prob you'd probably get it to 250 and still have 100 tons left. But you'd still want a bit of spare tonnage for upgrades in the future. Although we're kind of getting to the end game where spare tonnage isn't quite as useful as it is in like the early game. Um, actually, hell, it might be... I might have just underestimated the amount of spare tonnage I have. Um... So I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for today. Uh, I'm already at two hours. I'm going to keep going for now, at the very least. Uh, I might try to hold out until uh, XTRG is about to uh, start his... Uh, what is it? War in the Pacific turn and then raid him, because I want to watch that War in the Pacific turn. War in the Pacific looks like such a good game. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do maybe this and then that. Structure 5 and then Structure 6 can just kind of be something on top of here. Like, I don't know, maybe go out a bit, go in a bit, and then... Eh. Looks okay, I suppose. It's just a new name. This will be the Bravo Class Cruiser. I think that's good. Yeah, two months. Two months to design.
Oh. I've got to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll 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 take the tension. I want to keep my uh, prestige. Increase radar range. Search radar three. Short Hector has now entered service. Um. Uh. Yeah. Start work on two Bravo class CLs now. Kaiser's commission. Uh. That would increase tension. I don't want to lose prestige at this point. I want to get my score as high as possible by 1955. So I'm thinking that war with France will be sometime around 1950-ish. Now that being said, that's not good. I don't want to go to war with Britain again. Um, so we have our new battleship done. Good. Uh, this room will be faster than our fastest torpedo bomber. Uh, they have a new version of their flying boat. Take it, gladly. Aircraft type. So the new flying boat's done. Um, new medium bombers are in development. Our old medium bombers are going to be able to phase out. And we have a new float plane scout coming up here soon. We're probably going to want to work on a... I actually think a new dive bomber next. With an end scenario where we're fighting everyone once. No! Not as Austria-Hungary! That is a dumb idea, as Austria-Hungary. Alright, so, let's see. Um, uh, we should not buy what we can develop for ourselves. Our scientists report that they are currently baffled by the problems of 5-inch auto-loaded dual-purpose gun. Oh my god, SCIENTISTS! Can I smack him? Emphasis on end. The world just wants this empire to die already. We will not have our empire collapse. We have survived way longer than we should have. Given any reasonable metric. Alright, so the St. Poulton design. Um, still... Actually doesn't look like... Has anything really much changed? I don't think we can get any more out of her. So we're just going to leave the design as is and build a uh, third one. No to all. No to all. Um, and that will be once uh, Sankt Paulin is complete. Uh, yeah, I'm not planning on going to war with you. I want my money. Alright, build submarine. Build us two mine layers. Two medium ranges. And, uh, two coastals. That will be a, uh, nice group right there. To, uh, help kind of get our submarine force back on its feet. So now we have these nice, uh, Adria-class heavy cruisers to back up our Klagenfurts. What I might do is I might, uh, mothball the second, uh, Klagenfurt for now and just move one of the Adrias to the reserve fleet. Alright. So, yeah. So... St. Poulton gets done, we build a new one. Um, prestige! Aviatic is ready for operational service. That means our... That bomber should be obsoleted. Uh, yes, you can buy that US. Two-phase search. Cool. Uh, we're just going to build a uh, third St. Poulton now. Great Britain has granted uh, independence to Trinidad. Uh, buying the rights to those. Yes, you can buy that. New float plane scout types are ready for evaluation. Uh, so their speed's a little bit faster. Their range is a little bit better. Um, bomb load's way better. I think that one. I think that's just the obvious choice. It's the fastest speed and the longest range. Bomb load's the same across all of them. Toughness is the same. Maneuverability's a little lower. Firepower's the same. Yeah, that's, that's the best. As much as everybody's getting faster torpedo bombers, I want my focus to be on dive bombers right now. So in terms of bomb load and speed. And then after that we can get a new torpedo bomber. Um, so... Alright, so now air group wise. With uh, Sankt Poulton. We want the air group from... Uh, 
here to just move over. Not the flying boat, though. And we want to move all of our dive bombers over. And there we go. Now our uh, lead carrier has its uh, full force of units on it. One of these days we'll see an auto-generated auto class name that when pronounced your furniture starts floating. Yep. You're not, probably not wrong. So that's a set three of radar. So yeah, we do need to refit those uh, cruisers here soon. But, you know, we're going to enter in a refit period once Lisa is completed. Uh, I say so, yeah. That's a good idea. Forward firing ASW mortar. That is also going to lead to a lot of refits. Increases radar detection chance. Uh, note all. Note all. Nice! New fighter variant. Yes, better speed. Our new medium bomber is ready for service. Good. So now I have two medium bombers. Uh, I think that one's actually a little worse than the other one. Yeah, range is worse, speed is worse. Uh, maneuverability's a little higher. Other than that, yeah. We're gonna make that one just obsolete. Okay, so this'll... Actually, you know what? If we go uh, coastal fortifications, we still need to keep uh, expanding Malta. And then we had an extra torpedo bomber squadron there, and we want to move that over to Malta. Actually, probably the fighter squadron as well, I think, is supposed to go to Malta. So yeah, now Malta has 40 out of 40. Although its flying boat is only fair now, for whatever reason. So it must have lost its experience. That's kind of lame. Uh. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.